Hey YouTube, 242 generally. Um, I just got home from the auto parts store and the hardware store. Uh, I got a new belt, I'll show you that in a minute. Uh, but right now, um, don't trash it, cash it. Got an old mercury containing here, blah blah blah. Some do flinger they put in. But sadly, um, I don't know. This is galvanized. I couldn't find any ungalvanized. Um, would a wire wire brush take all this galvanizing stuff off the out outside of this? Because that's rust a little bit right there on the end. Because uh, I don't want to get that cancer bullshit. But I couldn't find any ungalvanized that was uh, the right size. But. I don't know if some of the stuff I already had was galvanized. I'm thinking that section was galvanized. But I'm not 100% sure because it's old stuff. But yeah, I just picked up some new threaded three quarter pipe for my exhaust setup on this. So I'm going to set that up and I'll show you my belt. This is my belt. It's a uh, power rated, it is stronger than steel reinforcement. For mowers, tractors, snowblowers, and appliances. It's actually the stock Craftsman belt size. Because this is a stock Craftsman belt. With a 9.5 inch rear pulley. And like the stock, the stock pulley setup. And it fits really good on my belt setup. So I didn't have to measure belt and all that. So they said this is the uh, toughest belt that you can get. Alright guys, I just finished putting my exhaust set up on. Uh, here, I'll crawl under here and show you guys the setup. Now, galvanized shouldn't be doing anything because people use galvanized exhausts for their trucks. So I don't believe this will be doing anything. So I should know that because I worked on the truck. But, anyways. I don't know if you can see this very well, but we kind of got like a side pipe set up here. We got the muffler on the end. Um, this is a 45 degree bend. This is a 10 inch piece, a three quarter, another 45 bend up to this 12 inch piece, which goes up to the motor to a 45 degree bend and then to a pipe nipple that's going into the uh, engine threads. And it's the same on the other side, which is hanging a little bit lower right now. But I could fix that just by turning it a little bit. Uh, yeah, I haven't tried this out yet, but before, with just the mufflers being around right here in this area, it was roughly, sounded like an ATV, to be honest. And I'd like it to sound kind of like an ATV. I don't want it really loud, because uh, I'm going to be going mudding sometime here. So I'm going to throw the belt on, I'm going to fix this exhaust because you can see it's twisted a little bit. But I kind of like that twist because the mufflers are kind of pointing down. I don't know if you can really see it from the side, but I guess if you're, sit if you're sitting or you're up close to it, like right now if you really look at it you could see it sticking down on this side. Uh, I don't know about this side because I twisted it. No, I'll fix that in a minute though. Yeah, we just bent that back out, so twisted it back out a little bit. So yeah, um, my uh, wheel still does hit on that 45 degree bend down there. But I don't think there's really any way of getting around that. And I mean, my steering's pretty much maxed out anyways. Let's see, let's get it centered. Yeah, it, it pretty much maxes out when it hits anyway, so. I might weld some steering stops on it, so I just don't steer that much. I mean, it's not that big of a deal. But, you know, it's just them little things that make it better and better. So, I'm going to throw that industrial grade belt on it. And I guess we're going to take it out and do a couple rips around. Hey, YouTube. Uh, while I was waiting for the lawnmower exhaust to cool, 
because the belt came off underneath and I got I burnt my hand on it, my burnt my wrist on it. But uh while well, I was waiting for that to cool so I didn't end up bumping it again and again. I uh I decided to put some seats on the trailer here. They're all mounted up. I bolted them right down through. Ooh. I bolted them down through the uh, plywood. Which I believe is three quarter. Maybe no. Looks like yeah, it looks like three quarter. And then this one, this one came off of the uh, back rack of the four wheeler. So yeah, then we're all mounted up. Gonna work on the lawnmower and hope to get the ball put on the lawnmower because I'm gonna have some friends come up sometime and rip around on the lawnmower with the trailer hooked behind. And yeah, this this exhaust system sounds great. I love it. Wonder what it sounds like with straight pipes without the muffler screwed in on them. Probably sound pretty cool. But yeah, I'm glad I got to get all that stuff. It does smell a little funny, but I think it's because there's still a little bit of plastic that I didn't get all of it off for the wrap tag on the big long pieces. But that ought to just melt away within a couple times running it because I mean that muffler was hot and I only drove it down the driveway and back up. But yeah, I'm going to crawl under here. Do some more modifications to all my belt setup and stuff, and then I'll let familiar you sight underneath the mud and mower here. So, uh, yeah, you can see this green belt on here. Uh, I didn't do very much modifications the other day. I put this V grooved pulley on here because I had a flat one like this one on here. I was wondering if that had anything to do with the belt wear, but uh, this thing has got a lot of tension. I tightened up the spring because I had to take the clutch off swap pulley. Uh, this is idler pulley with two belt retainers. Which, this is stock belt retainers and stock idler pulley. This will be, this was a stock clutch pulley but I took it off. And it's the only other V pulley I got other than the plastic one like this. But the bearings are worse than the other one. But, this has got two belt retainers off of another Craftsman type belt retainers. Actually, these are a uh, mowing deck belt retainer, I believe. Uh, yeah, this belt runs back to the transmission pulley and it runs back up. This is where my other tensioner, sorry about that, it's kind of upside down, but that other tensioner ran off of that bolt hole. So I put this uh, belt keeper back in here. As you can see, there's uh, there's room in there for it. It's a stock belt retainer. This came off of the Craftsman outside the parts one. And then it runs back up and around. So I'm gonna have to manufacture up. Make up some sort of a belt retainer for this front pulley. And one for the rear. But I'm going to not try it. Actually I might try it right now. It's raining right now. So I'm not gonna be able to get video of it. So hopefully when my friends come, they can, uh, the girls can videotape it for me. But yeah. Now this is pretty much... Oh, there's a muffler. This pretty much concludes most of my work on this thing. This belt's working great. So far what I've put it through for abuse. It seems, uh, seems like it's got some sort of rubberized coating on here. Because it seems when I, I mean, I'm not putting a lot of pressure on my thumb, and I'm pushing on it pretty, pushing on it pretty hard, and it's like I'm saying it's got a lot of grip, so it's gonna have a lot of grip on them pulleys when they get wet. It's uh, it's one of the toughest ones I got. It's uh, had a pretty price tag on it, about twenty, it's about thirty bucks actually. Uh. Got a big price tag out. I don't know how much the cheaper one was, which was like the original one that I had. But I'm glad I got the uh, higher grade. I was going to get a higher grade one anyways. But yeah, it's raining. I'm going to try to get some stuff in here and go in the house. Edit this video. Alright guys.
hopefully there's going to be some riding video of it Wednesday. Might not be out Wednesday, but I hope so. I might go try this out right now. It's got, as you can see, quite a bit of tension. I mean, quite a bit. When it gets wet, she should stick to them pulleys really nice. The only way to try it out is to get her wet. So I don't know. I don't think I'll be able to take the girls mudding with me though. But yeah. Maybe they could shoot some video of me driving around the house. And... Yeah. Alright guys. I'm going to go try this out and make sure the belt doesn't fall off. I'll put the ball on and make the trailer hook up to this thing so I can haul them around upon this. Alright. I'm gonna go do that and I'll update you. After. You guys wanna hear this thing, Rob? Yeah, I know you do. Uh, put the fire and brake in. Flip her up. So this thing is sweet. If you can see that muffler's got a little bit of shake in it. I like it how it does that. It kind of makes it look like a street rod. The muffler shakes a little bit. It shakes a little bit more when you're driving it down the road. But I might uh might just for the heck of it put a pipe clamp around the exhaust up here and host or a hose clamp hose clamp it to that uh, frame. Just so it's not all on the uh, uh molded piece for the muffler all right guys that's uh i think that's all for the uh mudding mower for now uh after i get some more money i'm gonna be i got a couple ideas i got a couple different motors i got some other ideas i got that two stroke briggs and stratton i have this five horse briggs and stratton i gotta get that running i lost spark on that but i gotta tear it down and get that going again I had the 14 and a half which we're going to use for parts we got the 16 and a half I can buy a tractor I also have a five horse Tecumseh I don't remember if it's five or 5.5 and uh, well, I don't know I was thinking about making either a lawnmower that's it's a kind of like a race lawnmower but it's also street legal like tax speedometer directionals um, that's going to be a big build if I go to do that. Or I was going to, after that, I was going to go and buy a tractor off one of my buddies. Actually, someone I know. And build that into another mud and mower. So I can take some friends mudding. And all that good stuff. So I'm going to get the wheeler in here. I'm going to do a little bit more work on the mower tonight. going to put the ball on it for the trailer. And, uh, yeah, so hopefully next video is going to be some footage of me driving this thing, guys. I'm excited. Even though I've been driving it now, I don't think we're going to be going mudding with it. But I can uh, probably arrange to go up and have someone videotape me mudding with it, taking it for a mud run. It might not be the first mud run, but it's definitely going to be better than nothing, right? So... Definitely gonna be some more updates now that I got the computer. I got a computer hooked up, so it's not the best work, but you know. I'm gonna bring the wheeler in, put the trailer out back, and do a little bit of work on the mower here, and then I'm going in. Alright, guys, I'll see you later.